over the last few weeks, you've been reposting some great IC content, especially um, Israel Collective Films and just so many, so much good feedback and so many hits on those. So tell me about it, man. Why are they still so relevant now? I think my main objective, um, if you take three steps back, is always to think, how can we bring the spirit of God into this crazy situation? And, you know, we've talked about this in the past. I'm not a huge proponent of the Enneagram, but uh, I'm a nine on the Enneagram, which means I'm a peacemaker, which means I really just love to love people and have those people love each other. And so obviously in this current situation and the situations that's been going on for a long time, um, I, I see God's sense of humor. He's like, I'm going to place you here. <laughs> um, so to, to the purpose of the films is to one, yes, bring the spirit of God into the situation, but then to also allow people that might otherwise not be predisposed to even hear things that are contrary to their worldview or their politics, to hear stories, to see stories, to experience stories where it has to at least make you think and make you question these narratives that you've been told. Um, I was on Facebook the other day and one of our close Palestinian friends that you and I have just posted this thing about, uh, he read a couple books about the conflict and he was going on on about how he's, you know, lived it for 26 years and how he considers himself to be a novice. And, and then he was criticizing all these people who said, you know, you Google for two weeks and you think you're an expert. And I think that's kind of where I'm at. I, you know, I have a lot of political opinions about a lot of different subjects, but they're kind of more or less opinions. These are, this is what I think about this subject. I have a viewpoint on this subject, but specifically with this subject, I am obviously a lot more educated and I'm a lot more experienced. And so I know when I hear a lie, I know when I hear a half truth, when I hear propaganda and it, it irks me, not just as a nine, but as a Christian, as an American who just, you know, I know that's not true, but to send someone an article that refutes an article that they've read, well, you know, who wrote it? What newspaper is it from? Ah, whatever. But if I send you a story, a nuanced, complex story, video, a film, you can't really discount these people's stories, right? Because that's the currency of modern day, of, of modern day truth. What's your truth? At? Not that I prescribe that at all, but I think these short films have a way of, of getting under the, the surface, of getting past the layers of defense, and making it palatable to a young audience to think, wait a second, if, if this guy is saying this, and yet I've been told this, at, 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 at worst, you're just thinking about these narratives that you're being fed. And I think that's the, really the ultimately the, the end goal of these films is, is to start a conversation to, to deprogram this vitriol and this... Um, poison that's out there and 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 you know we've you, you know i've been doing this for a while you've been doing this for longer than i have that poison is starting to rot the whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it the the american psyche the church and so it's it's no longer um theory theory you know and i think that's why i see is so important is we're trying to uh, this is a really perhaps bad way of putting it, but vaccinate as many people to this, to this garbage as you can to, to, to in, in inoculate people to this total fabrication of reality. And the only reason that I feel comfortable speaking on it is I've been there 26 times and I've spent past seven years basically getting my PhD in this stuff. And so <laughs> to show these films, I think is, is the, is the way to go for the younger audience. Yeah. That's so good, man. And, and I think you nailed it. These, the stories that are in these films are things that you, you don't really see or hear about in the media much, if at all. And I think that's like the biggest limitation I've seen in the media coverage is firstly, the, the cameras just start rolling when usually it's when Israel responds to maybe years or decades of you know, terror attacks and rocket launches and things like that, which is what happened in the last few weeks. They had thousands of rockets launched um you know at their cities at their communities um and their, their citizens both arab and jewish and israel finally responded and that's when the cameras start rolling so you have like this very narrow frame 
and context that the media is focusing on that really doesn't capture the whole timeline and everything that led up to that response. They're just covering their response, right? And I think another way that it's so limited is that the frame is only including, you know, a, a very simple or simplistic story and the stories that they're not sharing at all are, are all the stories that are shown in, in the IC films because there are so many different, um, you know, histories and backgrounds and, and different voices that you're bringing to the table. And these stories are just amazing. And, and they are stories of hope of Israelis and Palestinians coming together um, to make a way forward. And that's not something you really see in the media coverage. And I feel like that's, those stories are essential to understanding what's going on and why, and then also the way forward from all of that. So mm -hmm. um, what would you say, was there a story or two that was kind of emblematic of, um, you know, something that brings more hope and more context to the, the whole thing? I don't want people to feel like they have to lose the argument to see reality. Mm -hmm. And I think that there are people that are so wound up that to even hear what we have to say, they feel like they're losing or they're quitting or they're uh, betraying something. Mm. I've talked to people like, well, um, you know, I've, I, 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 I even, I lived over there. I, I've, I've spent three months there. I know how, how bad things are. And I'm like, yeah, things are bad. Let's talk about why. Why is there this security barrier? Why, why isn't there a state? Why, you know, why are there refugees? And, and it's, it's, it's a lot. Um, but I think my main, every day when we were on these trips, I'm like in the shower for like 20 minutes, just praying to God, be like, Hey, I, I'm, I'm so out of my league. Just use me as a voice piece for your Holy spirit. And I think that th there's one, there's a few things I can say for certain. When the whole world says it's the fault of the Jews, something's wrong. Heard that, heard that before. Right. Heard that for millennia mm -hmm. and what it leads to and yeah. what it leads to. And so you know, in scripture, it says that, you know, you'll never cease to be a nation before me, you know, unless the stars and the sun, you'll never be a nation. And I think the enemy wants to make God a liar. And like, well, I can take him out. Mm. Um, you know, and, and to think that I, I'm going off on a little tangent, but I think it's important. We, we filmed this, this film uh, for Israel Collective in London, and we were filming inside the British Museum. And this I thought was fascinating. So here you have all of these statues of Pharaoh and all these statues of a Babylonian and Assyrian kings. And here you have um, these Roman gods. And here you have all, all of this stuff. And what do they all have in common? Two things. Only two things. Well, three things, I guess, like in the Middle East and Antiquity. But, but two things. One, they all tried to eradicate in some way the Jewish people. Two, they don't exist anymore. Mm. But who does? The Jewish people. In the land that you kicked them out of, speaking the language you told them not to speak, um, worshiping the God that you destroyed the temple. And to me, of course the wow. whole world would, would have a distortion of what's actually going on there because it's a trophy of God's covenant keeping nature. It's a, it's a symbol that the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is alive and active and keeps his promises to a thousand generations. And sometimes 4,000 years later, and I think if there is, I think even Christians that have a hard time understanding anything or not, sorry, understanding what, the Israel collective's perspective, just think about that, that the world is against what God said he would do. Now I'm not saying that doesn't, that doesn't um, vindicate people from doing bad things. That doesn't say that there's not a whole lot of, gray areas and that you know this this over here is a terrible situation we should fix this of course but to see the hand of god move i think gabriel zamora who's an israel collective alum i said it perfectly he said we are seeing a red sea part in front of our eyes and it's our job to walk through that dry land and yet we're we're shouting at the sea being parted and it's like guys 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 
look back, ask God to, I understand that you're, you're so full of passion and vitriol, but take a step back and look what God's doing. And then from that perspective of biblical understanding that, that God's up to something, then we start to process, okay, why, why are there refugees? Why are there no Jewish refugees? When there was more Jewish refugees during that time period than there were Arab refugees from the land um, that became Israel. Well, why aren't, and then we can start, we can start building that, 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 that piece, that puzzle piece together. Why, why are there refugee camps in quote unquote Palestine 70 years later? Why? Um, and, and to understand that, but I think that, that my foundation is, I believe that the word of God is living and active. I believe that God keeps his covenant and his promises. And it's from that perspective that I build everything else on. 